The other place I use lists and, and what are basically numbered lists but don't actually look like numbered lists are captions. So let's say that I had some actual some pictures in here. Let's just grab a few pictures. And I think I have a couple here that look good. I'll just grab those. Actually, let's just grab three of them. All right, so I'll grab these. And again, I have show options on. This is why I don't have show options on for images. I had to say OK to each of those. And let's say I had three images here. And I had these captions or figures. And now I can do automatic captions. We're going to do later in the day. But let's say I decided I wanted this to be called, you know, Venice Canals. Let's make this a little bit bigger so we can actually see that. Let's make it even bigger. And I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste that. And we'll call this, you know, let's call this um, More Canals, because, you know, it's Venice. What else are you going to look at, right? And we'll have a Venice train. Station. All right, so we'll just do Venice train or something. All right, so we'll do that. And I have those three captions that are there. But what I really want is I want it to be numbered and say figure A, figure B, figure C, or something like that. So what I need to do is build that. I can build that into a list. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the first one that's here, use bullets and numbering. And I'm going to tell it that I want it to be numbered. And I want it to be number one or two or three. What I really want instead of this is I want it to say, Figure, and then the number, the actual current level. All right, so we'll do that one with the current level. So figure one, and then a followed by a space, a dash, and a space, or something like that. All right, so then I'll tab that. So now it says figure one, Venice Canal. So I'll just say OK. But what I need to do first is I need to make it part of a list. So let's say new list, and I'll call this figures, just so that I know that they're connected. Because they're in separate frames, I need to tell it they're somehow connected. So I say OK, and then I need to make a paragraph style for that. I'm going to option click on that, and we'll call this paragraph style figures also. So now when I click in here, let's actually assign figures to that, make sure it's assigned. When I click figures, it automatically numbered it for me. And it numbered it for me. Now how did it know what number to do? That's what order I drew them in. So unfortunately, let's say I decided these needed to move up, and these needed to move down, you notice the numbering didn't change, so that doesn't really look all that good. It's the order that I drew them in. So I try and draw them in the right order to begin with. There is a way around it. It's just kind of a pain. So what I need to do is take this item. If I decide, OK, now this is actually supposed to be figure two, I can copy it or cut it. I'm going to do Command or Control X to cut it. And I'm going to repaste it. And I'm going to do Paste in Place. So Edit, Paste in Place, so it goes back right in the same place. Now that's the second one I placed. Now it looks weird because it says three. Got to bear with me. We got to do this again. Copy or cut it, and then do paste in place. And now that's the third one that I play. So that's kind of a pain to have to do it that way. Try and make sure you do them in the right order when you put them together. But the cool thing is, if I decide I don't want to call them figures and I want to call them something else, I can go into that bullets and numbering and change the word figure to photo or something like that. And it automatically keeps track of those.